My name is Brian Rucker and I sing and play guitar in the norm. My name is Ryan Bars and I'm the rapper in the norm. My name is Dana Rubin. I play drums in the norm. My name is Jay Rogers. I play bass in the norm. I started the norm uh, back in 2011 with my stepbrother. Started playing shows, and next thing you know, I called up Dan. He got on the phone, and he was calling me. He's like, dude, let's run it back. It's been a long time since we've been in a band together. We got this new project that we're excited about. I said, let's do this, finally. And he said, OK. I think people compare the norm to 311 based on the rock hip hop, like the cross of genres and the distorted guitars and some of the rap style, some of the reggae style, uh, some of the rock style. The blending of these two stark genres is exactly what 311 did. The norm is very much like that too. We draw influences from a really wide range of music. The first time I heard 311, I was in middle school. I was really into Sublime and Nirvana. So they came out with this really tight sound. I was in the third grade. Um, when I first heard 311, my buddy Kyle had just purchased the Blue Album. And he said, yo, come check this thing out. This is this really cool song called Down. I think the first time I heard 311 was uh, obviously the Blue Album. Uh, my neighbor Johnny across the street uh, showed it to me. He said, oh, you know that song, Down? And he's like, the rest of the CD is awesome. I saw them live for the first time. Went back and did research after the fact. So when I was growing up, I only heard like their hits, Amber, Down, Beautiful Disaster. Now looking back, like I really can appreciate their impact on the genre itself, that like rock, hip hop, they were pioneers. My favorite 311 member. Uh, that's tricky, because Nick Hexum is so sexy. I'd have to, have to say Nick. I feel like I have to say SA, but... I can't pick a favorite 311 member. <laughs> Are you crazy? <laughs> the Georgia Theater is my favorite venue to play. Playing at the Georgia Theater is the most prestigious venue to play at, I feel like, in town. and It's the first venue I ever went and saw a show in Athens. Everyone that runs that place really just loves music and has embraced us. They really cater to the artists and want to make everybody comfortable and happy. And Who knows, I mean, we could absolutely suck, but you know, when you, when you leave the Georgia Theater, you feel like you're, you're the best band in the world. The last time we played the theater was amazing. We opened up for Moon Taxi, it was a sold out show. It was my birthday, I wore the wrong color shirt. Everybody else was wearing black, I was wearing blue. During our breakdown and goodbye, we got all the cell phone lights out, and they blacked out all the house light. The entire theater sang happy birthday to me, which was cool. And the night was one of the best nights uh, of, of, our, of our music career. The idea of doing that again, but with uh, my favorite band's gear behind me, <laughs> is a little bit cooler. So, looking forward to that one. 311, thank you for the opportunity. We will not let you down. Peanut, you're going down. Stay positive, love your life. This is the single biggest honor in my entire life. Uh, I can't even, I can't even say that. Hold on, give me a second, <laughs> I can't.